Good morning, folks. What better way to start than with the step leaders and return strikes of High Desert Lightning? As we step back to the entire US from GO-16, we see the explosion of storms at sunset and the same thing is coming tonight with the monsoon breakout in the southwest expanding into storms spread from the southeastern states up into New England. Let's do some space weather next and then move on to earthquakes, volcanoes, and deep space news. The central bright active region still has no sunspots beneath those umbral magnetic fields, so let's come to spaceweathernews.com, find the last 24 hours on our star, and now we can see the coronal holes as well. Without sunspots, there are no solar flares. CME activity is muted as well, even from filaments. And the coronal hole streams have yet to produce geomagnetic storms. However, right here, we've got a very close proximity south and then northern polar extension of the coronal holes. Their wind will be arriving towards the start of next week and re-elevate the earthquake warning starting now. Last day was more about volcanoes as the monster named Katla began stirring towards her cyclical eruption, which is well overdue. Also had a high peak in Chile released near a ski resort. Someone on a lift was sharp enough to get their phone out and record. The earthquakes were in mid-range only the last day, but attention on the swarm in the South Atlantic is very noteworthy as earth spots are due here tonight and towards the South of Africa. Top two stories here starting with active galactic nuclei of the medium-sized variety. These would be somewhere between stellar mass and that of supermassive nuclei of massive galaxies. Dozens of new targets spotted, and they may help inform about the earlier periods of the cosmos. Taking things down to the smaller scale, new information about the planets straddling the line between stars and planets indicates one of the ways they are indeed like stars. They split water on their day sides in a star-like energetic reaction, but like Mars water vapor, it cools and condenses on the night side of the planet, ready to start the process all over again as it rotates back around. If you missed last night's geoengineering video, it is well worth a look as mainstream scientists have pegged it to crop trouble. Great to see that coming out in public. Hoping to get another video out to you later today, so check back in. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.